Generating admin sites for your staff or your clients to add, change, and delete content, uh, even just for you yourself, is generally very tedious work. Uh, it generally is kind of always a sim very similar, and it doesn't require much creativity, if any at all. Usually it's zero creativity, it's just actually entering data. For that reason, Django entirely automates the creation of admin interfaces for the models or the data in your database. And in this video, we're gonna create a super user, and then we're gonna use that super user to log into the admin panel for the first time, and we're gonna explore it a little bit. So the first thing I wanna do is show you what happens when I type slash admin. I wanna show you that this does nothing right now. And it does nothing because our database is not set up yet. So the first step is going to be setting up the database. So how do we do that? Well, everything is actually ready to go. Django, when you create a Django project, it automatically generates all the code uh, and everything that you need to set it up. And everything's included in, if you take a look at the, uh, the installed apps, all of these kind of Django apps that are already come pre-installed with your project. So this is everything you need to set up the admin console. There might be more if I scroll down. You have the database, you have, uh, yeah, I think that's it. You have the database and you have kind of these installed apps. Generally, you never wanna change these. These come pre-installed for a reason to help you save time. Now, the only thing is we need to actually um, set up the database. So pass the data that Django wants to insert for the admin console. That was kind of a weird way to explain it, but I'm just gonna show you. So you wanna write python manage.py and you wanna write migrate. What that's going to do is, is it's going to apply any of the pending changes to the database. It's actually, it's like committing changes to a database basically. So if I click that, you'll see a bunch of stuff being done. This is basically all of the admin work that Django has pre-built. So now if I go to our back to our project, oh, I need to run the server, I didn't run the server. So I'll run the server. And now I, ref oh yeah, so it's automatically refreshed. So here's what the admin login looks like. Now, right now, this is just my computer throwing in some text. We don't actually have a super user yet. So before we can log in, we need to create a user that we can log in with. So I'm gonna stop the server and write python manage.py, create super user. And now I can create a user. So this user's name is gonna be Mitch. My email address is Mitch at tabian.ca. My password is just gonna be password password again it says that the password is super easy because it's password i'm going to say yes i don't care and it says super user was created successfully cool so now i'll run the server and i'll go back to the admin screen i'm going to refresh that i'm going to write mitch as a username and password is my password and there we go we have me kind of logged into the admin console so this is what django builds for you i have kind of some very basic functionality i can log out change my password view the website which will just take me back to the home page and then i have some very basic stuff that's been inserted to the database groups is for special permissions for anybody like some staff or someone you might have we're not going to be looking at them in the course but uh, we will be looking at creating custom users and inserting other types of data so if i click on users the only one in here currently is the super user and it has the flag staff status i can click add user this could be uh, some other user, I'll say uh, Jess and her password. I'm going to say her password will also be password and password again. And I can create this user by clicking save. Password is too com uncommon. I guess I can't overwrite it. So I'll do capital, I'll do capital P, password uh, four, five, six, and then maybe password four, five, six. Try that, so there we go, that gets inserted. So now this user is created and I can give him some properties if I want. Jessica, Jessica Tabian, her email is jessica at, let's say tabian.ca. She's active, she's not stat, uh, staff, she's not a super user, and I can give her some permissions if I want. So all of this kind of stuff is uh, built in Django users. In this course, we're gonna be building a custom user object later on because uh, you know I don't really like I mean, I like to build my own kind of user and fit that's gonna fit the project needs because maybe you wanna have some different properties for the user. You wanna save, I don't know, their address, maybe their phone number, maybe whatever, you know, different different flags, different permissions, that kind of stuff. So later in the course, we're gonna be looking at creating a custom user object. So that's gonna be it for this video. I just kinda wanted to give you an introduction of creating a super user, which you must do for every Django project, and then logging into the admin console for the first time. And moving forward, when we create more kind of database tables, basically these are database tables, the groups and users, these are tables within the SQLite database, 
uh, we will see more stuff get added to the admin console where we can manage that data. The cool thing about Django is that it does all of this pretty much for you. As soon as I insert new data or I create new tables, it automatically pretty much gets added to the admin. I got to write one line of code and it gets added to the admin console. So that's that's a really cool feature. In the next video, we're going to we're going to work on adding some new models, some new Django models and adding basically some new tables to the database. Then I'm going to log into the admin console and I'll show you how to access them, delete stuff, update stuff, all that kind of stuff.